Welcome to the webinar on Kangaroo Mother Care. Kangaroo Mother Care, or KMC in short, is the standard of care for the low birth weight infants in all settings and is one of the most important life-saving interventions for this group. In this webinar, we shall review what is KMC, benefits of KMC components and how to practice KMC. KMC is an effective way to meet the baby's fundamental needs of warmth, nutrition, protection from infection, with multimodal stimulation, safety and love. The low birth weight infant, both the preterm and the term small for gestational age infant, are at increased risk of various morbidities such as hypothermia, hypoglycemia, hypoxia, apnea, infection, poor growth, all of these resulting in increased mortality. In fact, more than 80% of all neonatal deaths occur in low birth weight infants. KMC is a panacea for almost all the problems of the low birth weight infant. More than 40 years ago, KMC was introduced as a low cost alternative to the incubator in the overcrowded NICUs in Bogota, Colombia in South America. However, the numerous benefits of KMC have now made it a standard of care not only in low resource settings, but also in high income countries. In addition to thermoregulation, KMC promotes physiological stability, improves oxygenation, reduces apnea, hypoglycemia, and one of the main benefits is reduced nosocomial sepsis, which occurs through various pathways. It reduces handling by health personnel. It promotes colonization by maternal flora rather than NICU flora, promotes increased breast milk intake and early discharge from the hospital. In fact, KMC makes the mother's milk a specific immune power to the NICU bugs through the enteromammary immune system. For example, a 32-weeker may not be able to produce antibodies to the pathological organisms in the NICU environment. But if the mom does KMC, she produces these specific antibodies and passes them to her vulnerable baby through breast milk. KMC is also the best form of developmentally supportive care. It not only correctly positions the baby, but elevates pain, promotes sleep, improves alertness, and provides the optimal kind of multimodal stimulation. All this promotes growth and neurodevelopment. The Cochrane analysis of 21 studies with more than 3,000 infants has shown that KMC is one of the most important interventions to reduce mortality. It reduces mortality by 40%, sepsis by 65%, hypothermia by 72%, hypoglycemia by 88% and promotes exclusive breastfeeding and growth as seen by better weight gain, length and more importantly, head circumference. In fact, the benefits extend throughout infancy and there are reduced readmission rates among these infants. Thus, it's a total healthcare strategy which has the potential to prevent 2 lakh deaths of the low birth weight infant every year. The benefits of KMC is far beyond only survival. It's the best form of developmentally supportive care that stimulates all the senses optimally. It provides the right kind of tactile, kinesthetic, olfactory, gustatory stimulation while protecting the later developing senses of hearing and vision. This study from Calcutta has shown that KMC improves neurodevelopment as assessed by Darcy's course at one year as compared to exclusive breastfeeding. The benefits of KMC extends into adulthood. Even at 20 years, the brain of the preterm infants who received KMC as babies is better and similar to the normal term infants as compared to the brain of the preterm infants who did not receive KMC. Studies from Columbia has found that as adults, the babies who received KMC had lesser neuromotor disability, had better school attendance, and even earned higher wages. The KMC intervention also has numerous benefits to the mother and family. It promotes maternal confidence and satisfaction, improves mother-infant bonding, reduces hospital stay, reduces financial burden, and promotes successful breastfeeding. By promoting earlier discharge, the fathers are able to return to work earlier, follow-up is better, and the infants are healthier with better IQ. Child abuse and abandonment are also lower. Truly, KMC is the baby's right and the mother's delight and the best intervention for the low birth weight infant to survive and thrive. Having understood the benefits of KMC, let us see the components of KMC, which are kangaroo position or skin-to-skin -skin contact, 
The second one is exclusive breastfeeding or KMC nutrition. And the third component is planned early discharge with adequate follow-up. Now, let us focus on the actual process of how to do this intervention. The baby should be first dressed for KMC with cap, soak-proof diaper and socks. A front open shirt is optional. A binder is essential, but this can be locally developed. The KMC position has four key points to focus on. The baby should be well nestled between the mother's breast. He or she should be well supported at the bottom. The head should be turned to one side with the neck at slight extension to ensure that the airway is open. And the leg should be well flexed at the hips and knees. The baby should not be too high or too low on the mother's chest. Just right so that the mother can bend down and kiss her baby's head. While sleeping or lying down, the mother's head end should be elevated 35 to 45 degrees with extra pillows. KMC is for all low birth weight infants less than 2.5 kg. Even between 2 to 2.5 kg, it has numerous benefits. It's currently recommended to start KMC when the infant is hemodynamically stable and it can be given when the baby is on IV fluids or on oxygen. However, there is new evidence that KMC is safe even for the unstable infants on respiratory support like CPAP. The focus is now on zero separation and the new concept of mother neonatal ICU where the small and sick newborns are treated even with respiratory support on the mother's chest 24 hours. KMC should be ideally provided for all 24 hours in a day. Each session should be at least 1.5 to 2 hours and not less than 1 hour as the transfer of the baby in and out of KMC position itself can be stressful for the baby. Long, that is more than 8 hours, and continuous KMC, that's more than 12 hours, are more beneficial. KMC is to be continued till the baby refuses to be in KMC position and wriggles out and fusses each time he or she is put in KMC. This usually occurs around the time the baby becomes about 2.5 kg. The mother is, of course, the ideal person to provide KMC. However, when it's not possible for her, for example, if she's sick or when she has to attend to her work, a close family member can pitch in and help the baby to receive continuous KMC. KMC can be provided at all places that low birth weight infants are cared for. It can be initiated in the delivery room. It can be provided as intermittent KMC in the NICU with a mother sitting next to the bassinet of the baby in a semi-reclining chair or with the mother in an adult bed in the mother neonatal ICU. Stable low birth weight infants are cared for in the KMC ward. Having a dedicated KMC ward is a must for every NICU as it helps provide continuous KMC and also decongests our overcrowded NICUs. For larger low birth weight infants in the postnatal ward, it can be provided in the postnatal ward. After discharge, it should be continued at home. Now there is evidence that KMC can even be initiated in the community. The second component of KMC, that is exclusive breastfeeding, also needs to be supported well. Mothers should express right from the word go. Frequent complete emptying of the breast is key to successful lactation. Even if the baby is NPO, mother should express at least eight times per day. Small sick infants must also be given opportunities to suck at the breast. KMC itself promotes lactation. Even half hour of KMC is shown to improve milk output in the mothers. KMC is a social and behavioral intervention and its success is based on counseling and support provided to the mothers and families. Individualized support, group counseling and peer counseling all help to promote KMC. Counseling needs to be contest specific. That is antenatal, pre-initiation counseling, maintenance, pre-discharge and home counselling for kangaroo mother care. The most important element in the success of a KMC implementation program is a conviction of the health worker. Mothers who receive good supported facilities continue KMC well at home. The health workers not only need training but also hands-on skill support, especially if KMC is provided for the sick infant on respiratory support. Continued mentoring is essential to develop into KMC champions. Having dedicated KMC nurses also aids in promoting KMC. Following discharge, linkages have to be established with the community health workers to visit the mothers and provide KMC support at home. Adequate follow-up at the hospitals is an important component and KMC follow-up should be linked to the early intervention program of the district early intervention centers. 
The key message is that KMC is a total healthcare strategy for the low birth weight infants, starting with identification of the low birth weight infant in the labor room, continued KMC in the NICU, KMC ward and at home. Mother's chest is the best home for the low birth weight infant and mother's own milk is the best food for the low birth weight infant to survive and thrive. Thank you. Thank you.